Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and you are more than welcome to join me today. Right. As you will have been able to tell from the thumbnail and the title and the description. This is a bit of a different film for me today. Um, long term viewers will know I have loved Jeffree Star's makeup and music for many years. I've been fully aware he's a complete and utter asshole in real life. But then there are very few chief execs of a company who've got there from their own hard work rather than family money and connections who aren't an arsehole. They've had to be to get where they are. I was aware of him using the n-word in the films that came out from about 10-15 years ago. Yes, he was screaming it at a white woman. Does that make it any better? No, of course not. But it wasn't my apology to accept or disprove. I just really liked his makeup. He apologised. He apologised at the time on MySpace. Uh, when they came out again, more recently, he apologised on Twitter on Instagram, on Facebook, not on Facebook, on YouTube, and on uh, Snapchat. Again, not my apology to accept or refuse, but the Christian in me said the man has acknowledged his sins, He's apologised for them. He's insisted he's going to be a better person. As someone who has faith, it would be wrong of me not to allow him to prove he has changed. The whole calling Jackie Weiner a gorilla that came from the text messages that his hairdresser had exposed which were later proven to be dubious and potentially faked. A lot of the people coming out saying he still uses this word, he still uses that word were doing so after they were no longer in that centre circle. If they were that bothered by the fact that he used language like that, they would have challenged him at the time or they would have broken off their friendship with him. The fact they waited until he broke friendship off with them makes me... It's still a he said, she said. There was still no video proof of him actually using that word. We all know how text messages can be faked. <sighs> I needed definitive proof. But then all this crap came out about Shane Dawson and his humour, if you can call it that. Um, I know joking was more near the knuckle back then, 
but some of the films that have come out were totally unacceptable. When he was getting his 12 year old cousin to give her girly friend a lap dance to the song My Neck, My Back, Lick My and My That's not appropriate. And to then sit in the chair and say, now give me the lap dance, whether it did or didn't happen. No. No, if someone put my goddaughter in that position, I would string them up. Simulating masturbation to a poster of Willow Smith when she was 11 years old. So I was determined from that point, I, I didn't want, I wanted to continue using Jeffrey's makeup, including the conspiracy palette and the too many controversy palettes. I just bought the emerald controversy palette to get the, the green shade, put it back, because it would have cost me as much to buy that single shade from Jeffrey's site, pay the shipping, pay the tax on arrival as it would to rebuy the whole palette again. So I knew I wanted to use this but I didn't want Shane mentioned on my channel. So I thought right okay I'll just depot it and then I can say I'm using a yellow, I'm using a green, I'm using a But time's gone on, and Geoffrey, who classed Shane as family during the, what was it, seven hour long documentary, aka sales pitch for the palette, hasn't come out either in defence of Shane or to wipe his hands with him, as other people have done that have known Shane for some time. Jeffrey, who has always been so vocal, not just about other people's issues and downfalls. Who can remember how he laughed about Manny and Laura and Gabriel when they were losing millions of subs and laughing about it on his Snapchat. He's always been very vocal, not just about other people, but about himself. Whenever he'd been accused of something, he'd be on Snapchat within 24, 48 hours. And that's not the case this time. Oh, sorry, I need to wiggle. I'm in a lot of pain today. I may cut that out, I haven't decided yet. He hasn't said a word. Not anywhere. He's been seen on somebody else's YouTube channel buying a new car. And he's been on other people's Snapchats. Laughing and joking in his pool. What happened to social distancing? Nobody's wearing masks. But he hasn't come out and said that he's standing by Shane because we've all done stupid stuff in the past. The excuse he's used for himself. Or to denounce Shane, he hasn't, he hasn't done it either way. He hasn't spoken to his fans who've been clamoring for him to speak. They want to know what his opinion is. And he's completely silent. And this is unheard of with Jeffrey. When his dog died, he still put Snapchats out to tell us and then went quiet. 
when him and Nate split up, he put some stuff out and then went quiet. He hasn't done that. He hasn't acknowledged his fans or anyone. And that just goes to show that for all of his, I really love my fans. Well, clearly that's bullshit, isn't it? I've known the man's an arsehole, but I, up until this point, did think he actually had some feeling for his die-hard fans. I mean, some of these stands were just vicious in the way they were attacking people. He's not stupid. He knows if he talks against someone, his, fa his stands are going to go in. I was never a stan. I liked his music. I liked his makeup. That was the extent of it. I always knew what an arse he was. And then the Tarty film came out. Where she admitted that Jeffrey and Shane had manipulated her and twisted her view on James, convincing her that if she did her bi sister film, other victims would come out, and then it didn't happen. You could say Tart is an idiot. Why didn't she approach James as her friend and sit him down and say, look, they're saying this, is it true? But can anyone really say they've not been manipulated? Weren't we all manipulated into buying the conspiracy palette? Looks that way now, doesn't it? Shane's done more blackface than he has makeup tutorials with his own damn palette. The fact that Tati was reading from a statement that her lawyers had approved and not flashing receipts up on screen. That makes it more than just a he said, she said situation because lawyers would want definitive proof or they wouldn't have let her make that statement, they would have advised her against it. So a combination of that and the fact that Jeffrey's being so quiet and being so ignorant to people that have stood by him for so long I don't particularly want to give him any advertising on my channel either, but I've spent a lot of money on his makeup over the years. I really like his eyeshadow palettes. They are fantastic in terms of formula. So, I bought a load of magnetic palettes. Potted them all. Annoyingly, Alien, my favourite palette, was the only one really that had damage to it because it was the only one that had like a metal casing rather than cardboard. But I now have one palette with Bloodlust and Blue Blood in it and the Pink Chill highlighter. This one is the Mini Constrophacy palette, ending with the Put It Back shade. Then the Conspiracy palette. Jawbreaker and Mini Jawbreaker on the top row of Blood Sugar. The 
the rest of blood sugar and two of the pinky toned highlights from the 24 karat highlight palette. Alien with the eight repressed shades and three oh that black's still crumbly look at that uh, three shades from cremated cremated palette minus three shades Thirsty palette. I've now run out of magnetic palettes, but I will eventually be depotting Beauty Killer, Androgyny, and the remainder of the highlight palettes that I've got. So if you see a film from me where I say I'm going into a green or I'm going into a mid blue or I'm going into a light blue. I don't tell you what the palette is. It's probably going to be one of these. Some people may accuse me of virtue signalling by doing this. If that were the case, I just wouldn't use his stuff on screen at all. But he's already had my money for this and other people's money when they've bought things for me, like my husband. I'm not going to waste that money, I'm not going to waste those products. I will most likely use these when I'm doing my pick collabs because the emphasis on those is the picture and the colours in the picture rather than a specific palette if there is a specific shade that you want to know what I've used labelled the back of each one so I can tell you if you're really that bothered but it's more so a case of I'm using a mid-tone blue I'm using a deep green I'm using a purple I'm using a red I'm using a pink so you can pull from palettes and shades you already have. That's what the pick series is about anyway. Pulling from what you have, not buying from something new. I really hope that you will understand my decision on this going forward. If you're not happy that I'm going to continue to use his stuff, then okay, I get that. Everyone's allowed their own opinion. If you're not happy that I'm using it but not announcing that I'm using his, again, okay, your choice. But I hope you'll see it in the way this is meant. I don't want to waste the money that's been spent by throwing these away or giving these away. Because of my pain levels I rarely wear makeup now unless I'm filming. 
So it's not even like I can say, oh, well, I'll, I'll just use these off camera and use my other stuff on camera because they still wouldn't get used. I have been asked to try and find a dupe for some of the shades, specifically put it back and some of the stranger undertoned greys from Cremated, which I will be doing. Once I find enough dupes, not just of eyeshadows, but also of lipsticks. I mean, for example, Share by Gerard Cosmetics is a dupe for androgyny. So I will be going through, I'll also be using, um, you know, there's a, there's a couple of um, channels that I follow on, on Insta that suggest dupes. I'll be trying the dupes out myself. And if I agree, then I'll let you know what the dupes are. And I'll do a film at some point in the future, listing as many dupes as I can. So, that's it. That's this film. Like I said, it's it's not my usual kind of film. But I hope you understand. If you're one of my 4F babies, please check you're still subscribed. Assuming you want to be. YouTube are still unsubscribing people. If you're new here, normally my films are much happier than this. There's an awful lot of other ones you can check out. Maybe pick a playlist and watch a few. And if you decide you like my style, it'd be lovely to welcome you to the channel too. But now, all that remains for me to say, as ever, my darlings, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.